Hi, my name is Cy Kunis Jr. I'm an over-the-road truck driver from northeastern Wisconsin. I've been driving for about 18 years and today I'd like to show to you the Ram McNally IntelliRoute TND 700. This short little video is going to show you the contents of the box and then we will do a short installation video as to how to install it in your vehicle. Okay, here we are with the Ram McNally IntelliRoute TND 700 and we're going to go through the contents of the box here. So first of all what you want to do take your hand and slide it through the side and remove the outside cover. Simply open the box here. What we'll find inside here is the quick start guide which is just kind of gives you a real quick insight into how to start the unit up and for quick operating. Then on the very top we have the actual unit itself pulling it out of the foam case here and it already has the mounting bracket attached to it and inside the mounting bracket here we also have the stylus which is something exclusive to the 700. Pull this top cover out and inside the box here you'll find your windshield mount which is a suction cup which attaches to your bracket. Simply take it slide it up inside the unit until you hear a little snap and then you're attached here. Also inside the box you have the 12 volt charging cord which plugs into your cigarette lighter. You have a wall charger. You have the USB cable which connects to your laptop computer or your regular computer for your TND dock for updates. And you also have a spare fuse. Okay, so here we are in the cab of the truck. We have our actual TND unit with the bracket already attached. We have the windshield mount. Once again, we're going to take and slide the windshield mount up into the back of the bracket that's already attached to the TND. And then we're going to take, take your, uh, your lockdowns, loosen them up so you can freely move them before you mount it. And kind of just set it up in the windshield and kind of sit back in the seat and see what's kind of comfort comfortable for you. Make sure you're not putting it someplace where you're going to be obstructing your view real, view real bad. And then before you mount it to the windshield, be able to protect the strip off the back of the suction cup. You may want to wet it down. You're, if you're mounting it to the windshield, I recommend taking like an alcohol pad or something like that. Alcohol pad or rubbing alcohol and paper toweling. Clean the windshield surface so you have a nice clean surface for contact for the, the suction cup. When you install it, when you find out where you want it, take it, push it up against the windshield as tight as you can, take the lever, lock it over so it locks it in place, give it a little tug, it's solid. Move your unit up to where you want it, and then tighten down your adjustment screws to lock it in place. And then we have your 12 volt power cord. That gets plugged into the side. One thing I do recommend when you do when you plug before you plug this in, take your cord and kind of loop it around the bracket itself. That way, if there's any pulling on it, you're not pulling on the USB connection at all. It's going to pull against your brackets first. And then just take simply take your plug in here, go down to your cigarette lighter, and plug it in. To maximize your, your battery life on this thing, the first time you, you set it up, you should have it plugged in for at least two hours straight. When you turn it on, it may take up to 15 minutes for it to, to locate the satellites. Generally, it's much faster than that. And there's also a recommendation on the screen here to hook it up to your, your PC to get the updates to register it. But just to let you know, it is not necessary to plug it into a computer first before you use it. It's ready to use out of the box. The biggest thing with the computer hookup is for your, up, your updates and for registering it. And now we'll remove the protective film off the screen and we're ready to start it up. Okay. 
Okay, we just went through the windshield installation of the Ryan McNally TND, but that's not the only option we have. If for some reason you find that the TND 700 is too big to be up in your windshield, there are, are other options. As long as you have a smooth, non-porous surface on your dash, you're also able to, to mount it to that as well. So I guess we'll go through the procedure for unmounting it from the windshield. And it's real simple. You take the cam lock lever on the suction cup, flip it over, there's a little tab on the suction cup itself, just give a slight pull on that, the unit will easily remove. Now the, the other mounting I was just describing is going to be on the dash. I have a smooth surface here, so it's real easy. I'll once again loosen up your, your mounting bolts, press it tight against there, press down, lock over the cam lock, put it up in position, tighten down your adjusting nuts, and you're in business now. Now it's completely out of the view of the windshield and it's right at your fingertips also. We'll turn the unit on. And we're ready to go.